This is Aptek's demo of their customer Minacast.com's live media monitoring portal. You can access the portal at www.minacast.com. On the main page, you'll log in using your username and password. which will then take you to your home users page. Minacast is a portal that was built using applications technologies language tools. It incorporates speech recognition, hybrid machine translation, knowledge management, entity extraction, as well as translation query for multilingual search and retrieval. The portal is a site that monitors 23 simultaneous channels in a variety of languages, including Arabic, Farsi, and English. The nature of the portal is that it is a repository of a variety of information sources. On the dashboard view, which is the initial landing page, you'll see that on the left is an aggregation of the last 12 hours' main topics. This uses Aptex knowledge management systems to extract the key terms in each of those broadcasts. On the right is a user-generated topic summary, which is comprised of the entire repository's database of clips based on those topics and the concentration of those clips within the repository. So you can see that under the medical domain, there's a small percentage of stories in the entire repository. Under America and those key terms, there's a much larger proportion of stories. The dashboard is meant to give the user a very quick snapshot view of the last 12 hours as well as their repository as it builds of key terms. In addition to that, however, Minicast's functionality is that you can set up key alerts which will be emailed to you as your key terms are detected in the broadcasts. You can keep a history of all of these key terms and this is what's displayed here at the bottom of the dashboard page. Another one of the key functions of Minicast is the ability to do searches based on any of the content and any of the languages. In this case, we'll do a search for the term Afghanistan. If you wanted to make this one of your alerts that would be sent to you the minute that it's detected, you can just click the alerts box. You can also select a search within your bookmarks as well as to be able to search within a particular time frame and you can also search particular channels. You'll see a complete list now of all of the channels that are currently being indexed by Minicast. You can also choose to search within your topics. As the search results are delivered, you'll see that we get the clip as well as the channel, the recording time, and the keyword mentioned within the transcript, and also the option to bookmark any or all of these clips. In this case, we'll go ahead and play the clip so that we can see the speech recognition transcript as well as the other features within the player window. Let's play the first clip and see what the results are. As the clip loads, we'll see that there's a good bit of information available to us on screen. You can see it in full screen mode. You can also click the translations, which will allow instant subtitling. You can also see the tape level data, the date and the time that it aired. You can add it to a playlist if you're creating one. And you can also bookmark it. So, in addition to real-time transcription and translation of the Arabic text, you can also, as I mentioned, create real-time subtitles for this clip. The other capability that you have is to click on the occurrences of your search term to give you a quick glance of where the term Afghanistan has appeared throughout 
the transcript, its exact point, because everything in Minicast broadcasts are time synced to the point in the audio where they occur. And that includes time syncing the transcript to the audio, both the source language and the target language. So we've seen so far the news summary and the topic summaries, as well as the search capabilities. Another key functionality of the MinaCast live media monitoring portal is the ability to archive a repository of all of your broadcasts. And you can do that for any period of time, from a month to years. As you'll see on this new summary page, we've got the ability to select any variety of dates and quickly jump to that new summary. On the right, we see a keyword list of the five most relevant topics with their greatest concentration of terms based on the broadcast for today, the 22nd. If we jump back to September 3rd, for example, we see that the keywords change as well as the concentration of stories within each class of information. Same thing happens if you continue to go further back. So we keep a very large repository and all of those key terms because you don't only want to search for today's information. For a useful repository, you want to be able to search within any key date. So if we click on one of those areas of key terms, again, you'll go to, instead of the search terms where we've searched for a particular topic, now we're looking for that concentration of key topical terms. And these are all of the channels and the recording times based in that topical area. In addition to the search capability, the dashboard, as well as the news and topic summaries, you also have the ability to create bookmarks. You can keep bookmarks in a general folder, or you can create specific folders based on projects or collaborative groups or other tasks. Under the topic definitions area, this is where you create your list of key terms and topical areas. So for example, if you wanted to create a topic area of America, you could then create keywords that are specific to that that would be monitored live 24 by 7 throughout all of the broadcasts. In this case, we would be looking for United States, America, Washington, USA, and American. And anytime any of the keywords are detected in the transcripts, we would get an alert based on our user profile. So in a nutshell, MinaCast is a very comprehensive information indexing and analysis tool to provide users with all of the real-time information they need in a very automated fashion without them ever having to watch a single broadcast they can have all of the information either pushed to them and their mobile devices or kept available for them in a searchable repository thank you